I'm fan of I'm here with another MCSC episode today on Turbulence, and it's been a while since I recorded an SG. In fact, I don't know, I feel really, really pressured <laughs> to record one of these. I've been trying for quite a while now, and it's not even that I feel like, I'm not one to really rage a lot, to be honest. Um, I don't rage when I die, it's just kind of like, I don't know, I, I feel like I don't want to go and try to get in the recording, I, I just, like, go do something else. That is a tweet deck noise, I'm sorry about that, I'll close on in just a second, but, you know, I don't know, I feel really pressured to record, uh, because I feel like I'm letting you guys down by, you know, having 2k subscribers and still not having a, <coughs> a set upload schedule. I'm really sorry about that, um, and I'll try to fix it if I can, but I, that's kind of hard, not gonna lie. Uh, even though it's in, we're in the weekend, of course, but, anyway. Uh, today I'm using consoles, which is back, of course. Uh, you, you guys probably know what it is, <clears throat> and if you don't, uh, Consul's a YouTuber, he quit quite a long time ago, uh, he, he was a good friend of mine, and I don't know, he, he's a really cool guy overall, and I really like his texture pack, uh, so I just decided to use it today, and, uh, last video someone said that I sounded like him, which is really interesting, because I don't think I sound like him at all, in fact, I don't think I sound like anyone on the internet, I have not heard a single person that sounds <clears throat> not even close to me. Um, but if you, if you know anybody at all that sounds like me, it'd be really interesting to know who, because I honestly don't, I, I've never seen someone in my whole life that sounds like me. And I'm not saying that I'm original or anything, uh, I'm just saying that I, I just genuinely don't find too many people that are, like, so, sort of similar to me. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Um, today I wanted to talk about the MCSG V2, the beta that they released a few days ago. Um, I want to give my own opinions on it, and, you know, it's beta, of course, so it's not finished, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed and updated, uh, and I want to give my own criticism on it, because I, I, I think there's some stuff to be fixed, but it's also pretty cool. Um, first of all, I'm going to start off with, uh, explaining the opinions on, my opinions on the hub itself, you know, the hub build that they made, a, you know, and congratulations to Team Elite, uh, they're an amazing build team. Uh, they can do amazing things. They're seriously awesome. Um, but there's a few things I don't like about the hub. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you want to know what the hub looks like, go to preview.mcgamer.net. I would be recording on there right now, but nobody really goes on there to play SG. Everybody goes on this server. Um, I don't know, because you, you, can, you can actually play SG on the new beta server, but I'm just simply not doing it because there's not enough people to even get a game started there. Um, but yeah, the hub is pretty cool, uh, it's a lot bigger, which I guess makes sense because, you know, they're adding all these new minigames, uh, but in a way, I think it might be a little bit too big, um, and not even necessarily that it's too big, sometimes I just feel like it's too hard to get around, uh, if you go on the hub <coughs> and you try to go to the SG signs, you will notice that you gotta click on the compass, click on the SG icon, and once you do that, you gotta enter a portal, which is like 10 blocks away from you from for whatever reason. Uh, then after going through that portal, you gotta go to this other place, click the compass, and then click the, the signs that say SG. Or uh, click the compass and then click the icon that says SG signs. It's kinda over-exaggerated, I don't know why they did that exactly. You know, as opposed to just click on the compass and then just going to SG. Um, easily. I don't know. It's, it's kind of something that I just didn't really like. Uh, not too much of a thing to bother me, but it's just kind of annoying. And overall, if you're tryharding, you don't really want to spend, like, 30, 30 seconds, um, you know, trying to actually look for a game. But, um, that's one thing I really noticed that I, I wanted to talk about. Um, so there's that. Uh, the, the plugin itself hasn't changed much at all. It's really just the basic colors that you see right here, you know, all the green, uh, gold, and all those colors. Uh, nothing really changed about the SG plugin, however, as you all know, uh, MC Gamer, of course, bought the Anvenom Network, and if you don't know about that, then I don't know where you've been, honestly, because, um, I don't know, it's been pretty big news that uh, MC Gamer bought the Anvenom Network, and they're adding all the minigames to it and stuff like that. Um, and I don't think you can play any of the minigames right now, so I can't really tell you my own opinion on them. Um, all I can say, though, is that they're probably going to be pretty cool. Um, and Venom is, a, is pretty good at Redstone, and I know that the minigames that he made uh, were from help from, uh, were done with help 
from his friends, which are really good at redstone. Um, I don't know, I just see, I, I just think the minigames are going to be really cool, and I'll definitely try to record on them uh, once they get released. Maybe not necessarily a series, just kind of trying them out, you know? Um, but yeah, I'll do that eventually. For now, though, I'll keep on posting SG and Spoon. Uh, Spoon UHC, of course. If you haven't watched that, I, th I, I would recommend you go watch it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's a UHC with, with a lot of familiar YouTubers that you might know. So, you know, if you haven't, haven't checked that out, I would suggest you go give it a look. But, wow, that's some flint steel spam. And that is some cleanup that guy was about to do. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk about how the minigames... Um, or just in general about the mini games that they're gonna add. The, the new ones from the Avenue server, of course. Uh, I personally think it's pretty good. You know, MC Gamer can finally call itself MC Gamer, not by just having two mini games. Um, besides SG, of course. I think it's pretty awesome. But what really worries me is the fact that people might just not be playing them too much. And by this, I mean they might just like play it for the first week that was an insane cleanup but you know what he tried cleaning me up i clean him up that's how it works but um yeah uh this guy's just calling me a targeter that's awesome um the mini games i feel they might just like disappear after a little bit you know i i guarantee you people are gonna be all excited for them at one point and then they're just kind of kind of disappears it's like the same exact thing as Z Chase and MCTF do. Uh, I'm not saying these mini games are bad. I'm just saying they kind of go away after a little bit. You know, all the hype for them comes for like the first week or so, and then it just goes away. Um, I feel like that's how it works. You know, I may as I may very well be completely wrong here, but I'm really hoping that doesn't happen because, of course, MC Gamer probably used up a lot of money buying the Avenom server, and I want them to get the best out of it. Um, uh, but well, there's not too much I can do about it. Uh, I can tell you, though, I'll probably be playing them a lot. Another tweet deck noise, sorry about that. Um, I'll probably be playing them sort of a lot. Um, and depending on how good they are, I may or may not do a series, although probably not. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I I'm kind of in a confusion right now about what series I should do. Because, um, <clears throat> of course, I have Spoon UHC. And then you would see highlights, and then battle line, which I haven't even started yet. Um, but you know what? I'm kind of—I don't really want to do a battle line series anymore. Not gonna lie. Um, there's been so many people that have been starting it up, and I don't know. I just—I um, just haven't seen it as something <clears throat> too original, uh, unless of course I put a lot of effort into it. But I don't know. Um, I really don't know right now. I'll have to decide that later. But that is basically my opinion on the new MC Gamer Network. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think about it. Uh, once again, if you want to go check it out, it's on preview.mcgamer.net. Uh, you can see all the new mini games. Not really play them, I don't think. Uh, but they're there. Why do I want to kill you so bad? Because I want to go to deathmatch. I mean, I cannot find anybody else through F3A. You're really the only one around here, so I kind of want to kill you. But, oh well. I'm not going to target him. Um, anyway. That's really it for this topic. I'm really sorry that uh, it lasted so short. I don't know. I, I haven't been commenting too often. And I don't know. I guess my skill has been kind of diminishing, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I can make topic make, to make topics last as long as I used to be able to do. But oh well. Um, I'll, get to I'll get there eventually. Um, anyway. I don't know. By the way, though, I don't think I'm gonna quit YouTube soon. I know I said I feel kind of stressed out, record or trying to record, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna quit or anything. Just, just, just saying, just pointing that out. Um, on another note, however, uh, Huawei posted his first video or his first MCSG video, and you know, I'm not saying this because I'm necessarily a fanboy over him, uh, but of course he's <laughs> known as the MCSG legend, the guy who was at one point number three in the world, and um. Almost got number one, but didn't because he stopped tryharding eventually. And I don't know. He just stopped tryharding and he got beat by a ton of people. And um, then he went AFK for five months. And now he's at rank 14, I believe. Slash stats. Wahoo. There you go. Rank 14. Um, obviously, I don't think he's going to get back. Or he, he may or may not, you know, get back to what he you. <laughs> no thanks. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, this proves how bad I am at PvP now. Um, oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna eat this gapple. I'm, I'm gonna clean up here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean up this guy because he doesn't have the diamond sword. Um, 
But he came back, and honestly, if he starts getting better, I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like, I don't know. I, I, just seeing Huawei makes me nostalgic, because he used to play on CA servers all the time, and uh, I, I actually used to see him all the time with my friends certified blocks. Me and him used to try hard to CA all the time. Not even try hard, really, just uh, we used to see him, and I don't know, we just thought he was a good player overall. Uh, I remember my friend Certified Blocks actually beat him once <laughs> on the CA servers, but that was when he was kind of bad. Um, crap. Alright, I died there, but I don't care, honestly. Um, I'm just gonna upload this anyway, because I honestly cannot record anymore. Um, I've been trying to do the same thing over and over again, so, you know, there you go. This guy obviously <laughs> destroyed me in PvP. Uh, he's pretty good anyway, do you even sprint? I I've seen this guy a couple times. Uh, I don't know, I just need to step up my game, man. I really haven't been tryharding at all. Oh, well, I might just do a couple of bad line games after this. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm a fan of this.